Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be going back to an old classic which is my hybrid compressed cannon and I have gotten it down to the smallest I can possibly make it. So I'm going to be calling this the mini hybrid compressed cannon even though it doesn't lose any functionality or range. It is just a lot smaller and is a lot more optimized for it for what it actually is. So I spent a lot of time on compacting this, taking a lot of the redstone away and just trying to figure out ways that I can make things a lot better. For example, I only have one line of redstone going on the right and it uses the comparator clock with a slight delay and some redstone mechanics to actually make that same line of redstone hit the sand and using something like the redstone torch to add 15 ticks and just all these things that make it really, really small. So this thing is about half the size, it still has the same functionality, and it is just really awesome, and it still has all the functionality of a hybrid compressed cannon. So, anyway, for the people that don't know what a hybrid compressed cannon is, all it is is a long-range cannon that can fire tons of TNT and fire out sand as well. So it pretty much just is a long-range hybrid cannon. So this one is my baby, in my opinion, it is just really awesome, so let's actually take a look at it in action. So over here we have got our squid farm wall that is about 80 blocks away from our cannon and as you can see it's just a general wall, it's only 10 by 10 and over here we have got our hybrid compressed cannon and I'll explain all the redstone that in a minute but if we press the button the TNT at the back fires, the TNT there fires then the sand in the middle falls and then it gets shot way over here and then it just creates a massive hole, actually a big hole that I thought it'd make. And as you can see, it did quite a lot of damage to this poor wall and all these poor squids. So that's pretty much the basis of how this works. And really it is the most beneficial thing about this over the previous one is it is smaller without losing any functionality. So that's always great because you have less resources. And as you can see, it still has the range and it still does a lot of damage. So this is probably going to be your go-to cannon now for most of your water walls, or at least it is going to be for me as I have had struggles like this for quite a while. But anyway, let's, let's have a look at how this thing works. So the first thing we have here is our input, it is just your standard wooden button and it is very important that it's wooden and not stone and that's because it has a 15 tick delay instead of a 10 tick delay which will be very important for that particular torch over there in a minute. But what happens first is the, ten is the redstone goes off in two directions, it goes down here and then it goes around here and then as you can see we have repeaters here that activate all these six dispensers on each side one tick after these and this will activate 12 dispensers which will calculate to 12 TNT which will be your actual propellant and what will happen is these will fire and then a tick layer these will fire but all these will do is push all this TNT right up as far as they possibly can to this block here so you can get the most possible range out of your TNT. So that's that so after that it goes down here through a 20 tick delay into this comparator and all this comparator does is it activates these dispensers for a minute so it fires out a total of around 8 to 12 TNT and then that's what is going to be used to fire away out there and then over here is where we have our little hybrid cannon sand thing because last time I had one line of redstone going down the right and one on the left but this time I've done something very cheeky. What I've done is I have a repeater here which uses, which is two blocks away from this actual comparator. So what happens is if you don't have redstone that is more than three blocks away from your actual comparator, it'll be a solid signal. So what I mean by that is normally if you have it up here, which is three blocks away because it's hitting here three blocks away, then it'll be able to send a solid signal, it will be able to send a one tick signal going over and over and over again, so that's how it rapidly powers these dispensers, but if you have it two away, even on a one tick repeater, it will just be, it'll just be pretty much a solid signal. So instead of flashing really fast, like you would normally have, it'll be a solid signal. So that's important because that way we can send a signal up here and we can take it directly out of here instead of having to have another line of repeaters. And then we can have it going into this redstone torch which will pull it back and then it'll reactivate it. So why is this redstone torch important? Because it adds a 15 extra ticks of delay without having an extra repeater. So that is very, very useful because it allows us to pull this back and then it won't activate until the button goes off. So that gives us 15 extra ticks, which is the exact amount of time we need for this to actually re-attract. If we did need more time, we've actually got this repeater down here, but luckily we don't. So this works really, really well, and it is really compact. 
Another thing that has changed is this used to be like five long, it's only three long. If you want some extra range, you can add more dispensers, but I do not think it's necessary. And I just wanted to have it free because it fits this small form factor really, really nicely. And the final thing you have is just your standard barrel. It has to be free wide or else this thing will not work. If it's too wide, then it'll be too inaccurate. It doesn't have to be any longer because it just takes up more space. So anyway, that's how this works. But anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. So to start off this tutorial, you're going to need a 5 by 10 area, which for a cannon this size is really compact. So what we have here is got iron ripsing where you're going to need to build and glass which represents where there are going to be no blocks placed at all. So that means there's going to be no blocks anywhere near them or on that particular thing. So you don't, yeah, if you need some extra space, these glass blocks is, are where you'll need them. But anyway, what we're going to need is some building blocks, some slabs, 17 dispensers, 17 redstone, 8 redstone repeaters, a comparator, a redstone torch, a piston, a water source block, and a wooden button. Make sure you have a wooden button. So the first thing we're going to be building is the cannon and the barrel bit, the actual structure of that before you put any of the redstone in. And we're going to be building on the far right instead of in the center this time because all the redstone is on the left. So the first thing you want to do is build your barrel which is going to be free high with a roof on the top of it. And you just want to be free along like so. And then after that you want to stick a roof on top of it like so as well. And then you want to stick free slabs in the middle of it like so. So now you want to destroy these two blocks on the side and replace them with dispensers and this block here and come around the back and place a temporary block on the back behind it and place your piston on top. So this is where all the sand's going to be going and that block's going to be filled up with sand and it's going to be extended the whole time so don't worry about this block interfering with your actual barrel. So after that we have now built our main bit so we just want to place a block here and then we can start filling in this place with our 12 dispensers. So you want a 2x3 area there of dispensers and another 2x3 area of dispensers on the back. Then we want to go around the back and place our little module at the front and then we want to fill in the blocks here, here, here and here followed by a uh, redstone repeater here and here and then you want to put redstone around it and redstone on top. I know I said we wouldn't do the redstone, but this is pretty much part of it, it's very basic. Then after that you want to place your water in here, and this is so that the TNT here doesn't go forward, it flows back and stays in the very back corner, and this TNT here just flows down that side as well. So now we're going to be building the redstone, you can stick your button anywhere, you can get rid of this piece of redstone and stick it there if you want, but we're just going to stick it on the back for now. So the next thing you want to do is place your redstone there, followed by 5 repeaters along, all set to 4 ticks delay, so it'll create a total of 20 ticks delay. Then after that you want to go up here and place a comparator and make sure you right click it so it's in subtraction mode, that is very, very important. Next you want to place a block here and put redstone all around them and then you want to get a slab and place it on top here, shift click it there and then place redstone on top. This is very important because if you place a solid block there then this redstone here will never actually reach this block and half slabs allow redstone to go on top of them. So after that you want to come around the back here, place a redstone repeater, place a block in front of it and place a block on top of the repeater, place a piece of redstone here and a redstone torch here. Also, if you're wondering if you think this redstone, this redstone won't power this block because it is turning and it'll just go down this repeater and this redstone here won't power this redstone either because it doesn't have a repeater output. If this is a repeater facing out this way, then it would. So don't worry, I have thought this through. So now all you have to do is fill up the top of these with sand and fill up every dispenser with TNT and you are golden. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. You have now built yourself a working hybrid compressed cannon. Hopefully you'll use it to the best of your ability and hopefully it'll be a really good cannon for you because it's certainly been good for me. I've actually already tested it out on some faction servers and all my friends think it's great too. So that's wonderful. So I hope you guys get as much pleasure out of it as I have. So anyway, goodbye from TNT Madness.